Hey, what's going on, Scorpio? How are you? Scorpio, I want to thank you so much for being here. I'm so sorry for being a little bit late with this reading, but we are here now. And let's go ahead and get into your March 2019 general reading, um, roughly covering the first half of March. So the first to the 15th, okay? Um, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be for you. Um, if the messages don't resonate to you, then please don't force it. Just move over to your uh, moon rising or Venus or, you know, watch another reader if you have to. That's totally OK. All right. So, Scorpio, let's go ahead and pull from the black moon um, astrology deck just to get a general overview of the energies that will be surrounding you or that you may have to deal with for this first part of March. OK. All right, so we have the sixth house, routine. Okay, Scorpio. So um, this is kind of Virgo energy a little bit, but um, but at any rate, Scorpio, a lot of you, you know, you guys may just be kind of, you know, quite literally be, you know, just really worried or focused on a particular routine or the way something works um you know if something has been working a particular way i feel like you you're not trying to make a lot of changes to that um around this time you know things are working and they're working because they're working somehow <laughs> and, or it's just because of whatever you whatever you are doing on a daily basis is is actually working for you okay um or um a lot of you are just going to be actually paying attention to the things that you do on a daily basis, um, you know, in order to make things work for you. So some of you may have to actually make some changes to your routine or, um, you know, just the things that you do in every day. Um, I, I get like some of you, I don't know, some of you. For, for a very small few of you, there may be some of you who um, are, like, getting into, like, performing different, like, rituals, you know, just, like, on a routine basis. Um, you know, maybe you're trying to manifest something that way. Um, I, I feel a very mature vibe, though. I do get a very mature vibe. We got card number 30 here, and with that, I just get the feeling that for some of you, like a lot of you are just like at this particular age right now where, you know, it really is boiling down to the things that really like matter. Like this is a very, um, a very grounded energy. You know, you're really putting a lot of focus and attention into, again, the things that really matter the most to you. And for some of you, that goes in correlation with, um, you know, the way that you do things on a daily basis or on a regular basis. So let's pull some tarot and see what the tarot has to add. Thank you for being patient while I get everything pulled out. All right, and a card from under the deck we'll put there for now. All right, so aside from getting in the, you know, routine of things or, you know, trying to um, carve out a routine, I didn't think I didn't think about that. Some of you might be trying to actually create a routine um, <laughs> so that you can, um, uh, you know, mature in that particular way. Um, but anyways, aside from that, the central energy here is the Empress. Wow. So, again, very grounded energy, um, very... very abundant energy um scorpio i think at this time a lot yeah a lot of you a 
a lot of you, you know, may be dealing with some things that centralize around, you know, family or that may centralize around, you know, just someone that you look up to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, maybe a, a matriarchal figure for some of you. Um, for others of you, though, I think that you're just coming into this month being um, with like this very, uh, this very loving and very caring energy. Um, I feel like you care a lot about what's going on in your environment. Um, you want to see it grow. You want to see it prosper. Um, again, this is very Earth. This is very Taurian slash Libra type energy. So, um, you know, it, it's it's very... Uh, it's very ruled by Venus here. So what I'm saying is, is that for a lot of you, um, for a lot of you, like as far as like family and love or the people or your loved ones within your family, I get the feeling that um, it's going to be kind of centralized around that. Um, maybe even your routine is kind of centralized around, you know, uh, caring or nurturing for, for other people um, or maybe a parent. You know, or, you know, some of you may be um, at the age now where you're having to, you know, care more for your parents. OK, um, so let's see here what the past energies represent uh, the Hierophant. OK. Yeah. So a lot of you took on a particular commitment at one point or maybe um, earlier, but at some point in the past. We got number five here, so it could be for any of you. Five months, five years, anywhere between three and five years or so. Maybe you took some particular commitment. And, oh, you know, I didn't realize we have the three here. And we also have three there as well for all my numerology geeks. But um, anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, I do feel like at some particular point in the past, there was a commitment that you took. I think that for a lot of you, I mean, a lot of us, we do make that commitment to have to take care of our family to have to take care of the, the, the older people in our family who took care of us at some point. Oh boy. Oh, I feel like for a lot of you, that's going to begin to be your new normal, you know, where, you know, you, you, you wake up or, and, and, you know, you have to call your people be like, all right, you're okay. You know, da, 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 da. for some of you, it may be that simple for others of you. It may be literally where you're, you know, you wake up in the morning and you actually not only do you have to get yourself ready, but you also have to, again, you know, care for maybe some elderly family member or care for someone who really can't care for themselves. And I know that that's kind of broad or very specific. Um, excuse me. I know that's very specific, but um, that's just the message that I see. Okay. But at any rate, you definitely, um, have made a commitment to this, to the care and to the, uh, you know, to the nurturing, you, you, you've made some sort of commitment to nurture something. And this could be, you know, a lot of you, I don't know, this may be where you may be finding out that you're a brand new parent, whether, you know, you're the mother or the father of a brand new parent, either way, either sex, either how it goes. But for some of you, you know, you you may be like, you know, getting ready to have a kid, you and your partner, um, or you and the person that you're committed to. Present Energies is the Princess of Swords. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords or the Princess of Swords here in the present energies. Okay, so um, so you're gathering information for some of you. Um, you're gathering some sort of information. You could be, for a lot of you, you could be, you know, reading books or researching books or on the internet or whoever or whatever, however you whatever your choice is to be able to, you know, learn something here. I feel like for a lot of you, you have come to a point to where it's like, okay, you know what? I need to be able to know a little bit more about what I'm dealing with. So a lot of you, I think that you're going to be studying, you're going to be reading things, you're going to be looking things up online, trying to, you know, just learn a little bit more about the commitment of care that you're providing. Okay. Um, for others of you, um, you know, you may just be like, uh, 
watching someone else do, you know, what they do. Um, or maybe just in some sort of way, however, however you learn um, to do this, but you're learning. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It is a page of wands or a princess of wands. So I feel like for a lot of you, it may be a new way of doing things versus, you know, the old way um, that you've been doing something. Um, so just keep, look out for that energy as well. You know, someone may be trying to approach you to teach you a new way of providing some sort of care. The future potential energy here is the strength card, okay? So that lets us know that a little bit later down the line, okay, Scorpio, there's definitely going to be a little bit of strength and a little bit of courage that's going to be required on your part. And I do feel like spirit gives us gives you that to work with um, because, listen, we know that, you know, sometimes when you're caring for people, right, like it gets a little bit hard. You know, when you're trying to nurture someone, you know, it, it gets a little bit hard, um, especially when, you know, especially, you know, depending on, you know, what types of uh, people that you're caring for. I just get the feeling that there's like someone who's dealing, who's caring for someone with a disability. That's just what, that's just the feeling that I get. It's um it's almost like you're having to care for a family member who has a disability or maybe they're elderly or maybe they're just really, really young or you're just you're finding out yourself that you're about to be, you know, a parent yourself. And now it's like you're learning, you're reading all these books about, you know, parenting and things like that. And, you know, there's just a, a particular level of strength that you're going to need in both situations. It's just how I feel with this. OK. Um, underlying here at the bottom, we got the star card. Oh, beautiful. So, yes. Yeah, so any of you guys who have been maybe trying to have a kid or like, you know, Maybe you weren't expecting, but now that you are pregnant or waiting um, for the for the birth of your child, it's as if it's like, oh, my God, it's like this is exactly what you've always wanted. It's it's exactly what you have always dreamed of. So, again, I just feel like I'm speaking very specifically to maybe just a couple of you. Right. But I just definitely feel as though. Um, if any of you guys are dealing with, like I said, a pregnancy, it's just or or even if not a pregnancy, it may be like you're adopting. You could be adopting a kid. But at any rate, it's definitely like. It's been your dream. It's just your dream come true, either whether it's your dream come true to actually be a parent or it's your dream come true to be able to care for those who can't care for themselves. And again, I'm sorry that this definitely this sounds really specific. I know this is a very general reading, um, but uh, that's just the messages that I do see. Now, the examples that I'm giving, it may not necessarily be your example, but however you can fit this to whatever it is that your situation, you know, however you can fit this to your situation, um, then do that, but don't force it. Okay. If it fits to a different scenario, then then great. But I don't know. That's just the what. That's just the scenario that I see, the the strongest here. All right. So again, for a lot of you, yeah, it's um, it's like your dream come true. It's like this wish fulfillment to be able to help, or to be able to care, um, to be able to nurture, to be able to raise, or you know, uh, rear a child. Hmm. A lot of you made a commitment to yourself in the past that that was something that you wanted to do with your life. So let's see what the present environment holds. OK, the five of Pentacles. OK, Scorpio, are you on, are you are you doing this alone? Are you on your own doing this? I definitely see more of a commitment being made to yourself. I have the five here with the Hierophant, and then we also have the five here surrounding the Empress. So, oh boy, this, whatever is happening right now is definitely a game changer in your life. Um, 
it's definitely a game changer in your life. I, I feel as though I feel as though you think that you have to do this on your own, um, and you will do it on your own. You know, um, I don't necessarily feel like people are shunning you or making you out to be a pariah here or or anything like that. I just what I feel is is I feel like this is you. You know, having to in a way kind of uh remove yourself right kind of cast yourself out um in order for you to be able to with a clear mind um you know ac- uh not accomplish this goal but with a clear mind kind of you know uh nurture what you're trying to nurture into fruition and you're strong enough to do it You are strong enough to do it on your own. That's why that strength card was needed. Because a lot of this journey will be done on your own. So if you're caring for, you know, back to those of you who may be caring for an elderly family member or maybe a family member with a disability, you know, you may find yourself alone doing this. You may not find yourself having a lot of help from family or, you know, uh, if you do have help, you know, it'll be, there'll be a lot of complaining <laughs> is what I feel like with this. Okay. For some of you guys who may be expecting a, a child, um, I get the feeling that, yeah, you know, it may be with someone that you are committed to, but for some of you, you know, it's like, Hey, listen, you know what? I, I can raise this kid on my own if I have to, I don't feel like you have to but the energy right now could be saying well you know if whatever you're dealing with for some of you that energy may be you know you may be having those types of conversations with the other parent like listen you know it's been my dream to be a parent you know what I mean and I'm strong enough to be able to do this on my own however you and I did commit to being a parent and to raising this child together so you know, I feel like you're going to go with that. But at the same time, you're totally comfortable in a weird way. It's like you're totally comfortable with having to make certain changes in order to continue to, um, you know, do the things that br- uh, bring you the most happiness. OK, so what are your hopes and fears here, Scorpio? Okay, the three of pentacles pops up in your hopes and fears. So I I feel like you hope that everything is going to work out. Everything is going to work out between, you know, all the parties that are involved here. I feel like, you know, deep down what it really is is that you do want to make a plan. You do want to be able to, um, you know, like oil this machine good so that it'll work, you know, um, so that, you know, the routine can really you know, so that the train can really get going here on this, like I said, this new normal, this new routine. You know, you hope that everything can get worked out. I feel that if it's a fear for you, there's a fear that everything won't work out. There is a fear that um, there's this maybe this fear that you have underlying that, you know, things think like. It's kind of like how I'm trying to say it right now. Like things will get stuck, you know, Um, that things won't, you know, that the gears won't necessarily all rotate together to, you know, kind of make your routine work like clockwork, you know. Um, But again, I do feel as though, like I said, you will even make sure that what you, you know, it's like you'll, you're okay in doing it alone as long as whatever you do will work. But I do feel like you do want to be able to work things out with other people around you. So you do want to be able to, you know, care for those, uh, care for those that you love with the help and the support of, you know, other people around you that also love uh, and support and care for this person as well. However, like I said, you don't mind doing it alone. Okay. What is the outcome card here? The four of cups. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. 
Scorpio, I see you kind of getting to a space, though, where you may just be like a little bit reluctant to accept help. And I see that now because, like, yeah, like I said, this is a fear that things won't work out if other people like get involved or start, you know, trying to tell you how to, you know, da 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 da, or telling you what to do when it comes to da 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 da. So I fear, like, for a lot of you, you know, you're going to be reluctant to accept help. But I think that's again where that strength card is needed. But you're going to be reluctant to accept any offers. Um, not to say that you won't consider it or not to say that you aren't considering it even right now um you know the way that he's sitting here looking is not like saying that you aren't considering it you may be just sitting there considering it before you actually accept it but i think that for a lot of you um when it comes to maybe someone that has maybe promised or maybe someone that has committed to being this sort of helpmate for you um if that's if if you know if that's uh, how that fits to you. Um, there may be someone who committed to being a helpmate to you um, and just kind of maybe they dropped the ball a little bit and you needed to kind of do that and you had to kind of do things a little bit on your own. And I feel as though it's like, you know, yeah, they may have come back around to try to help or you may be trying to get them to help. But at the same time, it's kind of a little bit, you're just a little bit reluctant to receive it now. Um, Possibly because, you know, you're not really sure either of what the motives are for them trying to help now or if they really mean it, you know. Um, so very thick, very thick reading. Not a bad reading, Scorpio. Um, it's just that, uh, like I said, again, like this is definitely this this routine card is definitely definitely speaking to the whole reading here because you guys are definitely going to be entering into a cycle where you're going to be um, doing things more on a routine, more like clockwork, you know, and it's for a lot of you is going to be centered around the care of someone else. However, that means, however, that fits to you, whether that's the care of your own child or your unborn child or maybe some sort of family member um, who has like a disability, maybe an elderly family member or, um, you know, uh, just someone who can't care for themselves. Um, and then the princess of cups or the page of cups. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of expression, um, during this, during this first two weeks. Um, in uh in March, I do see where you're gonna be. Um, it's like you're finding a brand new love for what it is that you're doing, um, and that's what I see. That's what's kind of getting keeping you very interested in in learning more about what it is that you're trying to do. I just I get again. I just get the more like the like just the care aspect of something. And that's your energy too, the Princess of Cups. That's your element. So I do see um, this is where you begin to kind of see a lot of the things that um, that you've been nurturing. Like you're beginning to see uh, a lot of the fruits of that labor. And, you know, and not only see it, but have an appreciation for it. And again, that's what is feeding your intellect as far as wanting to learn as much as you can. So let's get um, three cards pulled here from the Rider Waite deck just to clarify the entire reading. All right, so we've got the Ace of Swords. Okay, so a brand new idea, brand new perspective. The five of cups, we've got another five. And then let's get one more card. Spirit, please allow us to get one more card here to maybe interpret the reading. And the fool. Interesting. All right. So brand new perspective, brand new ideas. Um 
I even kind of see, honestly, I even kind of see where this princess of swords kind of turns into this ace of swords. So it's like the beginning of learning something and then having all the knowledge and having all of the uh, intellect or maybe not all of it. Right. But just having at least an, enough, um, you know, just is it's, it's, it's again just. Um, I don't know. I kind of also kind of see him the same. Like this is like kind of the start of it. And then this is like kind of the graduation of it. Or this is like where, you know, this is literally where that brand new perspective or that brand new interest even comes in. Now, with the five of cups here, I do see that. I feel like a lot of you are kind of looking at the issue like, oh, this is so daunting. You know, oh, my God, I can't believe that I'm going to have to do all of this, this and this and this. But I do think that for a lot of you, um, you're going to turn that around and you're going to really actually start to pay attention to, um, you know, the opportunities that this, that this could afford you um, or, uh, you know, the level of you're going to actually recognize, you know, the love that you do have for doing what you have to do in spite of, you know, you know, something kind of going wrong right at the beginning of it. But with the full card there, um, yeah, the full card is definitely saying that you're all systems go into this, you know. Yeah, you wish that it could happen under maybe better circumstances, but at the same time, you know, this is still something that you're being led to do and you're and you're wanting to do and you want to do it um, you know, full force. Like I feel like with the full card, this is a very Aries card. So this is like that energy, that passion, you know. Um, and it is it's still that new start, that brand new start. So we got the princess, the princess, and then the fool or the page of swords, the page of cups, and then the fool. So this is definitely like a brand new venture for you. Some of you guys are just going to be realizing, you know, this energies around this time, you know, um, or some of you may already be kind of working in this energy, but it's very, very new. Um, it's still very new. So let's go ahead and pull from the Madame Endora fortune cards just to see what or how you can navigate through this energy. Ooh, Scorpio, I think you guys are going to be my longest reading yet, but that's okay. You guys deserve it because I was late. Scorpio, navigate through this energy. Please let us know. All right. So we've got two cards here. We've got the Sphinx. Choose your words carefully. And then we also have love. True love and fidelity. Hmm. I think this is just... Uh, let's put this here. I think this is just a call... Um, to just be reminded that, you know, um, in spite of maybe things not really going maybe your way at first or in spite of not really um, having, for some of you, having the full support of those who had who had previously, you know, maybe committed to something with you. I do feel like I said, like you're going to be having conversations about that, especially with the Princess of Swords and the Ace of Swords. You, you may be having conversations about that, but just make sure that when you speak, make sure that you do choose your words carefully. Make sure that you are coming from a place of true love about it. OK, because I feel like that is what's going to allow the process to go easier. All right. Also, for others of you, I just feel like, you know, just make sure that you watch how you talk around the people when uh around the person or the people that you do actually, you know, end up caring for because, um, you know, they look at you as their caretaker. They look at you as their nurturer and they have this unconditional love for you because of that. And, you know, just watch the things that you say around them because, you know, you don't want anything that you say in anger or in, uh, you know, or because of being hurt or anything like that, you don't want that, you don't want that judgment to be tainted of you, okay? Because I do feel like this person definitely cares for you. They look up to you. They have no choice but to look up to you. They depend on you in a certain type of way, all right? So Scorpio, again, I know this was a very specific reading. Um, it may not hit for everyone, um, but 
you know, that's okay. Um, however it fits to you, um, apply it that way. And if it just doesn't fit at all, then like I said, don't force the message. All right. So Scorpio, let me know how this works out in the comment box below. You guys you know, I do appreciate your comments, your likes, and your subscribes. If you haven't subscribed already, I do invite you to. You can book a personal reading with me. All the information about that will be in the description box below. Scorpio, I got to go. Talk to you later.